Hi everyone, my name is Amir Ivry. I am a PhD candidate in the Technion Israel Institute of Technology. And uh, in this uh, paper, I will discuss uh, uh, the deep adaptation control framework for acoustic echo cancellation. Uh, this uh, research was conducted uh, with my uh, two academic instructors, Professor Israel Cohen and Dr. Baruch Berdugo. Thank you and enjoy. So, uh, to introduce the topic in a nutshell, hands free communication oftentimes involves the need of acoustic consolation uh, to avoid uh, hearing echo uh, and distorted speech, both of which degrade uh, the conversation significantly. Um, in the area of uh, very popular acoustic echo counselors, um, at least at, in the linear regime, we have the normalized LMS adaptive filter, um, which is being governed mainly by the step size. It controls the convergence speed of the filter uh, and the accuracy of the filter. Um, the two of which noticeably are uh, conflicting requirements. And this is why uh, the step size uh, value is non-trivial to determine. Um, existing models today uh, do uh, focus on variable step size, but often assume uh, things about the acoustic environment or determine parameters beforehand uh, such that it is no longer practical to use these algorithms in every uh, real life scenario. So how do we uh, contribute in this study? We use deep learning to introduce a data driven framework that uh, requires no knowledge on the acoustics or the model parameters. And to evaluate its performance, we use 100 hours of real and simulated data and do achieve leading results. Um, I just want to baseline over the uh, setup of acoustic constellation and inside of that show the proposed system. So I would uh, annotate a bit for that. There we go. We have the, let's assume that I am in the near end side, um, that I'm in the far end side, excuse me, and I'm talking my speech is being played by a loudspeaker on the part other participant's end, um, and it goes through its room impulse response, being added to his or her speech and noise and being transmitted all the way back to me. So uh, it's clear that I may hear my own echo, uh, which may degrade the conversation. So. What, what happens in this research is that we take both the microphone signal of the near end and my far end signal, and together we um, insert these two signals as well as the error from the LMS uh, filter to a neural network that estimates the uh, optimal step size and feeds it into the NLMS uh, filter to use the optimal step size for both convergence and accuracy and produce the echo estimation, which is being subtracted from the microphone to result in the error, which is the, um, which is the near end estimation, which is my, the estimation of the, uh, of the near end speaker uh, that should not contain any echo. All right, so how did we, uh, practically um, implemented this method in three stages. Stage one is uh, modeling the NLMS filter uh, in double talk. Then we introduced a data driven generation of the optimal step size and use this data to learn the optimal step size using neural networks. The first stage is taking into account the uh, a priori and a posteriori uh, error signals um, and the NLMS well-known update rule. 
combining these three equations provides this relation between the uh, a posterior and the a priori error signals. And from that, it's uh, pretty straightforward to derive the optimal step size, the step size, if we force echo cancellation from the error, namely that it equals only the speech and the noise. Given that uh, expression, we see that the step size uh, is basically uh, derived based on the near end signals, right? The speech and the, uh, and the noise, and the upper error signal, as well as the foreign signal. It does not depend on, uh, let's say, the echo, which is reasonable. So, how do we uh, uh, propose to uh, generate data for the optimal step size? We take a look at the quantity that most ma that matters most in the NLMS convergence, which is the uh, normalized misalignment. The normalized misalignment quantifies the mismatch between the actual and estimated echo path. So it looks like this, exactly like this. It's the uh, difference essentially between the estimated and real echo path, and it's normalized. Um, taking the uh, previous expression for uh, the update rule of the NLMS filter, we can substitute it in here and see that the normalized misalignment, again, is dependable only on the foreign signal, the error, um, and the previous, uh, previous uh, estimation of the uh, room impulse response. And therefore, we can simply derive the uh, optimal step size by requiring it to minimize the normalized misalignment in every uh, step in the way. Meaning the step size that governs this quantity uh, that minimizes the misalignment is necessarily the one that is optimal uh, in every uh, in every timestamp uh, to bring the uh, filter into its uh, optimal uh, point in terms of both convergence and accuracy. Um, so once we have derived the optimal step size best based on the uh, based on solving the optimization problem, uh, we introduced in the uh, per slide, a deep neural network is built to learn uh, the relation between data measurements and this optimal step size, and to produce an estimated, an estimation of it in real time. We proposed a, a pretty basic CNN that receives the far end, a prairie arrow and microphone signal and maps them into the step size and why this uh, data uh, of all data points, because we have shown that the step size is analytically depend on these quantities, meaning that it, it makes a lot of sense to use them. Um, so this neural network was pretty uh, lean. It contains 1 million parameters, uh, not many uh, M flops and not many uh, bytes of memory, uh, which allows us to, which allows it to be theoretically embedded into our uh, uh, hands-free devices using, using existing neural processors, which is also practical. So before introducing the results, we would like to um, Baseline over the performance metrics, there is the signal to distortion ratio uh, between the uh, speech and the uh, error signal. There is the well-known PASC, both of which are uh, fit for double talk analysis. For single talk analysis uh, of foreign signals, we use the ERLE, the echo return loss enhancement. And we also report to the normalized misalignment, which is very interesting. So the results show, uh, let's take a look at the left table. We see two scenarios that we analyzed, no echo pet change and echo pet change. No echo pet change means th that there was no uh, movement of the near-end device or near-end speaker during the recordings and echo pet change means that there was which uh, is a more realistic scenario. Um, we can say that the uh, proposed method prevails in terms of mean and standard deviation over the entire, um, the entire five competing methods, one of which is the 
uh, NLMS, the classic NLMS, no variable step size. Um, and the difference is uh, we can say it's pretty significant on the average. Uh, the standard deviation is not uh, not so um, not so low uh, relative to the competing methods, but it's still the best. Uh, and it goes both through no echo patch change and echo patch change, which gives us a high generalization uh, of the of the method and uh, shows that it's most practical in real life scenarios. Uh, one very important uh, set of results talks about the convergence time and its success rates. Um, so not every time the echo pet changes, um, the convergence of the filter succeeds necessarily. Um, and here we see that the um, that the R method succeeds 95% of the times, while other methods fall to around 70% or 58% of the time. I mean, meaning that uh, a significant number of times the filter has not succeeded to even converge, uh, meaning that it has not succeeded to fall down the normalized misalignment is not, uh, fell, uh, not falling down beneath uh, minus 10 dB. Um, and the times of the convergence of the proposed method are also very, um, very nice. Uh, we can see that it takes uh, almost half of the time for this uh, method to converge relative to other methods, um, which also uh, is very uh, important for real life because in real life, echo pet changes quickly and, uh, and, and uh, frequently. So to the right side of the screen, we can see an example of the, uh, on the bottom side of the speech signal in the near end, the echo and the microphone, which is essentially an addition of both with noise. And we can see how the normalized misalignment behaves um, across different methods. Um, so again, we, we see that um, very interesting, th very, very interesting things actually. You can see that um, the proposed method, the deep variable step size in the blue uh, solid line uh, actually continues to converge quickly and is not disturbed by the double talk uh, appearance up here and here. Uh, while other methods are affected uh, by it in, in a very uh, significant way and they diverge before they, they converge back. Um, so it's a uh, huge strength of the method. So this is the method that we developed. Uh, we tested it in real life. And uh, we thank you for listening. Um, please feel free to reach out with any questions. Thank you.